Why don't we wait until they answer the question and go into conference then? Okay. Right. So if, if we run into conference, so Mr. Chairman, is that Excuse me? I say if we should probably go into conference. Well, if you go into conference, we say no, then they shot down. Right. This is a given the opportunity to actually. Well, we. Well, since we have a concern of the, the parking variance and the number, number of units, right? I mean, I, I would share. Uh, uh, units, uh, or the this is a problem that's, that's, that's always existed throughout Lake Iowa. Yeah, I know. And like this money said, there's, there's a substantial amount of parking on the street that accommodates uh, retail in that part of town. I don't think there's any reason why it can't accommodate this. I mean, if you're so concerned with parking at 7-Elevens, 7-Eleven Lake Hiawatha, that parking lot is never more than half full. I didn't see is the, the, the parking area layout. Where the, do we have that where the nature? Huh? He, he showed it. Yeah, I thought so too. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's on one of the pages. Going that property a little bit, so there's just the one driveway into it. Right. Right? And then I'll show sure the entrance of the chimney. Did I miss that? Let's yeah. go get on the left side of the Especially yeah, I mean, this in North This is the This is the <laughs> yeah. yeah. the, the, the little lots that have no parking, mm -hmm. and there is some competition. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the road. What about this parking on the road? Yeah, it's it's just the to that. Yeah, and this is a complex. Nobody will park here and go here because there is a plenty of The parking in the lot for the commercial would be the shop owners. We're still on the record, Mr. Neal. Do you want to let us know? Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, for that opportunity to consult with my uh, client and, and witnesses. Uh, to answer that question, the short answer is yes, and for the longer answer, I'd like to recall Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox, you're still under oath. If he can speaking, sp speaking with our client and uh, and hearing some questions of the board and, and understanding the volume uh, of the uh, uh, variance, we've considered a way to make the building smaller. I think that by making the building a bit smaller, we would uh, be able to improve on our uh, variance situation. I think, it, it, I think what we're going to propose is, is it, what I'm going to propose is significant. Um, and I think it's really as far as we can go to, it has to be an economic viability to be able to do a project. Uh, but what we're, what we're looking at is that, uh, if I was to remove 10 feet off the back of the building, pull the building back in 10 feet, 
Uh, that would be about six hundred. About six, I have to readjust my stair, my stair design here at, at, at access. But if I get ten feet off the back of the building, I can then get about six hundred square feet and change, about six hundred thirty possibly. And I'm going to call it nine or ten feet, but six hundred thirty square feet off of the uh, of the retail use. If I take off the ten foot on the second level, uh, the second level, then what I have now is two apartments. I would have to then change that into one apartment going across sideways uh, on that. So instead of two that go, I'll call it vertical on the sheet, we'd be able to, we would have enough room to then do uh, one, ap one apartment across this area here. So we would be able to uh, have a sufficient apartment. So our proposal uh, to you is, and I think it's easily understood, and I think sometimes it doesn't, sometimes we do a lot of gerrymandering, but I think it's easily understood, is we take off about, about, about 630 square feet of retail space and a single apartment. And I think that uh, although the engineer testifies to all the numbers, I think as per ordinance that is 1.8 and just over three, uh, three point something uh, required for the retail, for the retail spaces, which comes out to about, it's five spaces at least less. And I think it's a significant. Uh, Got your variance in half, basically. Yeah, I didn't know testimony to variances tonight. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you the numbers. Yes. <laughs> no, I, I, instead, <laughs> instead of 31 spaces now coming to 25, 26? I'm going to let the engineer uh, uh, testify with regard to actual parking spaces. I'm letting you know what the square foot numbers are and how they related to it's the calculations. The Thank initial you. variance was seeking 11 spaces. Now you're looking for six. So okay. it's uh, cut in half. Uh, so I, have, I personally stuff. appreciate that. I'm sorry, were yeah. you speaking? Let's just say, would that give you room to put parking in the back or not enough? I think the only way the only way that we could uh, accommodate parking in the back would be if it was a, allowed a tandem tandem parking space. The one or two of the space would be able to go to the back, but I don't know if that's allowed by ordinance, and that's not uh, sufficient. Even if that was an some, employee some, some, parking. Sometimes on sometimes they allow tandem parking spaces if it's assigned to a specific unit that may have two cars. But again, I'll let the I'll let the uh, uh, engineer and planner testify to the site plan aspect of it. Maybe you put a little 10 foot patio back there so people can put a grill out there and have a hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> could, it, or increase the buffer. Yeah. Could, could be part of the deal. Would you give any thought to, in the objection letter from the, part, the, the strip mall next to you that I guess you approached for usage of their parking, did you, could you give any consideration to either going elsewhere and seeing if there's anybody else that would consider you letting you use their space and did I read the letter right that you guys went to them they said no and we're going back to them again and saying could we work out some kind of deal versus the current cop proposal Mr. Jackman, you, you could keep the pro yeah. if you were able to go next door and get them to allow you to use their parking you could my objection is not the size of the of the unit of what you're building I think it seems like it makes a lot of sense the issue is parking so if you could go next door and say could we make a deal could we work something out or go somewhere else in the area to get some usage you might not have to change anything and you might get what you need I, I don't know if you've given that some consideration not me, I'm not answering that. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> There's a couple of additional questions that need to be asked with something like that is does the parking, do, do the adjacent lots have the parking to spare? Correct. So we haven't done an exact determination of that. In the particular case of the food town, we do know that that's going to be unavailable because that property is currently being considered for uh, other uses. Okay. So that property is not going to be available. And that's the only one in the area that would make sense? That's the only one in the area that would potentially have the excess over park space. Just a, a quick investigation. We did not do an exact investigation in the neighborhood, but the other parking lots all appear to be complying parking lots, which would mean we would not be able to permit in those parking lots. Now, there is an opportunity with the firehouse, which is already permitting, but we did not explore that. And as we indicated in our direct testimony, they sometimes have functions there, so they might need their parking. They also use that during what are real emergencies. Understood. So we probably could not do that. The township's policy on the township lot has usually been not to allow permitting for uh, uses on the street. They want to keep that available. 
even though I have seen commercial vehicles parked there, I hope I'm not blowing anybody in here, but uh, I'm not sure that that's available for parking. We think the better solution is what Mr. Steiger testified to, which is the on-street parking. And now we're talking about really uh, six parking spaces as opposed to the 11 we were talking about before. So the opportunities for permitting might be pretty limited in that area right now. My, my comment, frankly, with the uh, willingness and compromise here of cutting the size down and uh, moving the variance from 11 required to six, uh, I think that's a, a, that's a very good uh, uh, solution uh, and compromise on both sides. So I thank you for that. Uh, if that's doable, uh, and your client's saying that's doable, that's I think that's a good compromise. I like to support. Any manage works. management uh, will be there in the premises? No. 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 There's, there's no uh, facilities for management here at the offsite. No, uh, if they are, they can park their vehicles on the back also. <laughs> Mr. O'Neill, did you plan on asking Mr. Candil to testify to this some more, or are we good with Mr. Fox? I think we're good with Mr. Fox. Can I hear a motion to go with the conference? Motion. Second. Askowitz. Yes, Favor. Uh, Aye. We're in conference. <coughs> Who wants to go first, Mr. Johnson? Thanks, Bernie. <laughs> you I'm have been torn. I, 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 I appreciate that you did modify your plans. I, I like the building. It makes sense to me. The parking is somewhat of an issue because I just don't know that the street parking will accommodate it. And I don't know the bill, the businesses around it, even maybe Mr. Shaw brought it up, but if the businesses around it are using that street parking as you would use it, as the spare or even as the primary. So I'm, I'm kind of torn. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm leaning to yes since you did accommodate, but I'm concerned if that's an answer. <laughs> So you're waiting to hear what everyone else says. Exactly. Next. <laughs> uh, I'm in support of this project. I agree. I, I live in that area of the street park and it's minimal. I passed there several times. Uh, and um, I agree with the traffic engineer. There is always space there, so I would support this project even though there is some issue with the parking. I think on the street you will find uh, space to park. No, you will, you, you, <coughs> you want to support the application as presented or as modified or both? No, no, as presented, not, not as modified. Uh, I don't think it's really necessary. Okay, Mr. Prasad. Yeah, in my opinion, this is a better plan you guys bought into, especially when there is the land is not being used is a good proposal and uh, coming to the parking issue in that area whole North Beverly Road has the issues and uh, especially for this lot and considering the next lot where there is a plaza and they have plenty of parking I see there is a lot of parking available there uh, and I agree and I really appreciate the applicant modifying the plan to reduce the space and uh, original request was for like about ten, uh, more than 10 spaces now coming back to five, six spaces. So I, re I am in favor of the modified plan. Okay. I, I think obviously the utilization of the site will be a very nice improvement for the building. Uh, and I, we didn't talk about the, the fact that the residents, uh, there's no place for them to have a little place to have a hamburger hot dog if that 10 foot back there might work that out. Uh, and the willingness to do it uh, at the compromise, I think I'd be in favor of the, compro of the proposed compromise reduction, reduced plan as well. I'm not sure we've been able to resolve any of the other issues, but according to the reports here, you're willing to be in compliance with all the engineers' concerns, and uh, there'll be other things going forward, I'm sure. But for now, for this application, I'd support it. Mr. Shaw? Um, I'm a bit, I'm actually torn. Uh, I, I think this lot needs a improved uh, improvement, and this application is really awesome. 
Um, the architect uh, and the designer did a great job putting this really minor look in, a, in an area of Persephone that really truly needs it. Uh, I really don't think there's enough parking, like, you know, just aside from the, I guess, the code of what we need for parking. There's four units, so uh, let's say three of them have a couple, that's six, and let's say one of them are not, so that's single, that's seven parking spots. That's assuming there's no guest ever coming. And the three units downstairs, let's say there's five employees total. Um, that's 12, that leaves seven additional spots for people to come in and out, um, which I don't even know what we're gonna put in these units. Uh, and seven for three unique retail spaces doesn't seem like a lot. Um, I understand there's a lot of parking in the area. Uh, I know there's a lot of empty lots, because then essentially what we're saying is that it's okay to park in your neighbor's lot because it's empty. When we got a letter saying that, hey, we should be looking out for this because this is going to happen and we're not going to be happy about it. Um, so actually, I'm going to be voting against it. Uh, I'm not going to be approving this uh, because I don't think there's enough parking. Mr. Kaplan? There was uh, no way I was going to vote for this as, as initially planned. I am now torn. Um, I do believe that this is an improvement to the neighborhood. Um, it would be my hope that it would be the beginning of a revitalization of that downtown and I really appreciate the mixed use aspect of it. I do think that's the direction that this play, uh, Lake Hiawatha needs to go on that strip there. To Mr. Shaw's point, I, I think we're relying on spillage to say it's okay. And I don't know how many times we can do that. So while I think it might be okay for this application, and we could probably get away with it, how many applications are going to come before this board who are going to ask for the same things and say, well, there's ample street parking or there's some spillage here or there? At some point, we, we, we would have to stop that practice. So, I, I honestly, I don't know. I need like five more minutes in my head. <laughs> I just Take it. I'm in favor of the application, either as presented or as modified. Uh, downtown areas are always a problem. Uh, this is our downtown in Precipity, and uh, the street parking is there for a reason, and I think it can handle any overflow problems. Employee parking can be designated, I mean, to maybe park in the uh, municipal lot and, and walk to work. Uh, there, there are ways of handling what could be any potential problem, I think. Uh, I'd be in favor of the application. Um, People want to take a few more minutes to say anything else? Or? Yeah, I have a question. Since we haven't gone into conference that often, are we allowed to ask John his opinion at this point of what he thinks? Absolutely. John? I think the compromise plan addressed the principal concern. I think you have to take all of you know not that Brook Road one way or the other, but this is like on the fringe of the old historic area. And it is not that crowded where they have to use up the street spaces because they don't have any park. They're, they're providing a substantial portion of it. And the idea that somebody's got a parking lot in a commercial center and nobody can go into that lot is foolish. Because people are going to come downtown and if they plan to go to a restaurant next door and then walk over to these shops, they're going to do it. And that's what the retail business mix is supposed to do. It's not like everybody's their own little island. So in my judgment, they've made the compromise. I think you're right, uh, Mr. Shaw, when you said, you know, 10 spaces is a stretch. And they came back, and I think that's about as far as they can go. I, I think of a downtown like a Ridgewood where none of the businesses have parking lots and it's solely street parking um and that makes me feel a little better about this so I if i look at it that way i think your, I do feel your better. comment in the long term 
Lake Hiawatha becomes successful, the township is going to have to start looking at more lots. That's what they're going to have to mm -hmm. do. Yeah, so I'll... Because I'll, you've uh, got these... I mean, this area is it's a big lot in, in North Yeah. And next door is probably one of the biggest commercial lots in across the street. But when you get up in this little 40-foot wide lots... I mean, I can remember Gray's Hardware that was out in the middle yeah. of North River Road. Huh. <laughs> Rosie's, too. Yeah. After further consideration, I'll be voting yes for this. Mr. John Scott, say anything I have? I'll vote yes for the modified plan as well. Yeah, I'll clarify the modified. Okay. Move to move out of conference? So moved. Second? Jasquit. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Somebody want to propose a resolution? Okay, let me do it. Yeah, okay. Give it a go. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, Captain. All right. <laughs> uh, which one? Okay, an application number 1859, KNS Real Estate 7 and 9, North Bever Beverwick Road, Block 611, Lots 8 and 9. I recommend that we grant the C and D variances with preliminary and final major site plans and the soil moving permit with the modifications as outlined in the reduction of uh, the approximately 10 feet in the rear of the building and reducing the number of apartments in the rear of the building from two to one. Seconded. Just further clarification, would there be, do we, need to review the modified architectural plans when they're done or approved we don't need to do that right no okay i just want to make sure just a point of clarification for me are we talking about four apartments yeah four total, four total now four total okay did i say that wrong that, that you, <coughs> it was reduced to four you said one in the rear so that was the, and there was three in the front so that was a confusing there's three one. in the front and now one in the rear one long one right you understand okay. that okay yeah, yeah. oh no actually, all right fine okay <laughs> Then I was wrong. I think I got it. All right. So we have a motion. All the conditions that they agreed to. All the conditions as to the experts. Every, everything placed on the record. Uh, second. Already. Call the roll, please. Mr. Berkowitz. Yes. <coughs> Mr. Joskowitz. Yes. Mr. Kaplan. Yes. Mr. Passad. Yes. Mr. Reddy. Yes. Mr. Shaw. No. Mr. Willens. Yes. Thank Six. you, everyone. Have Thanks. a nice evening. Any other business? Or an adjournment? Good job, Bernie. Good job for stepping in not knowing you were there. Eh? That was an interesting case. Trained, experienced, professional you are. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> this is your stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. I think you were just married to that, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it looks like the back's really covered. Yeah, I'm not. 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 I'm not.